Good day, everyone. My name is Sol Albert Snakdalan, and I'm from Group 6. Today, I will teach you on how to solve the problem. The legs of a right triangle are A is equal to 6 cm and B is equal to 3 square root of 5. Find the hypotenuse, also called the longest side. Related to the topic, solving problems related to radical expression and radical equation. To solve this problem, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. First, we need to identify the given, which is A is equal to 6 and B is equal to 3 square root of 5. The unknown value in this problem is the hypotenuse or the longest side C of the right triangle. Using the formula A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared by Pythagorean theorem, which means that the, the sum of the square root of the two perpendicular sides of the right triangle is equal to the square of its longest side or the hypotenuse denoted by small letter c. We need to substitute the given lengths in this equation. Having a as 6 and b as 3 is 3 square root of 5. Substituting the values of a and b, we have the equation c squared plus quantity 3 squared of 5 squared is equal to c squared. After that, we need to simplify the given equation and we will arrive to 36 plus quantity 3 square root of 5 squared is equal to c squared. We need to evaluate the power by multiplying the base by itself as many times as the exponent indicates in our case 6 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 6 times 6, which is 36. And then we need to distribute the exponent over each factor in the term. In our case, the exponent 2 is distributed and will become 36 plus 3 squared times quantity squared of 5 squared is equal to c squared. Next, 3 raised to the power of 2 will become 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. Then we need to place the exponent under the root resulting to square root of 5 squared. And our equation will be 36 plus 9 times quantity square root of 5 squared is equal to c squared. Then we need to simplify the radical square root of 5 squared and it will be 5 and giving us 36 plus 9 times 5 is equal to c squared. To simplify this, just multiply 9 by 5 and the result is 45, which gave us the equation 36 plus 45 is equal to c squared. Next, we need to add the terms 36 and 45 and the result is 81 is equal to c squared. Lastly, we need to transform these terms into a root having square root of 81 is equal to square root of c squared, we just need to evaluate this for the last time. And our answer will be c is equal to 9 centimeter or 9 is equal to c. That's all. Thank you for listening. I'm Magundayo from 9A and I am going to be solving equations involving radical expressions. So this is the equation that we're going to solve. Now let us start solving. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we have to get the square of these two expressions for us to be able to solve it. Let us do the next step. So, after getting the square of the two expressions, we have this. So now we can solve the equation. Now let us do the other step. Now, we have to subtract both these two expressions. So after subtracting 4y minus 3, we got 1y or y. Next, we're going to have to subtract 4 minus 2. 
Now that we subtract 4 minus 2, this is the answer. And it will be the final answer. Thank you, everyone.